What's up you guys? I'm Bill Mazurik. This is B-Mass Fishing. Let's kick some bass. Well, that favorite Pro Series rod is doing work today. What's up, you guys? So we're back at it. Um, it's about nine o'clock coming out here. It's, it's a cool morning. Uh, this weekend, it was really windy and it was cold. So we're gonna get into the 80s, but it's um, about mid to high 60s now. And we're gonna get that warming trend about 10, 11 o'clock. Wind's gonna be 10, around 10 mile an hour. Between that and five and 10, I think it's eight already now. And it feels like it's it's blowing pretty good. It's gonna be a uh, southeast wind too. So we're gonna probably start off out, out, outside grass lines, maybe a little bit deeper. I think this spawn here is kind of winding down. I've been talking about it for, seems like forever, and wondering if it was happening at some lakes. And But now, I mean, I think, and we'll see. Um, full moon's this Saturday, so we're in the full moon window. Um, they'll be moving up this week. So last time I was out here though, it was more of a, fish were out offshore, but they were all suspended in that five to seven range. I think they're following bait. So it may be tough. I think after the spawn, they kind of go in that kind of range and then before they move in or move shallow and kind of focus on grass or, or the brim start spawning. So they go in there and are feeding on brim. But we'll go out here and we'll start out, move up and check a bunch of different places, check a bunch of different depths and go from there. I'm starting to think it might be crankbait time. So I got some crankbaits tied on, swim bait, um, and bottom baits and we'll go from there stay tuned let's go catch them Wow, look at that. It's longer. Huh. That's got a short handle, dude. That's weird. 7.2 has a really long handle. That's why I like it so much. This rod's pretty heavy. I mean, it's not super unbalanced. I don't know, so I said 10 or less, but it's freaking ripping over here, so I'll see. All right, so I'm seeing a lot of fish suspended over here, but not much on the bottom. We got 74 and a half water temp. Just gonna roam around and see if I can intercept some of these schools that are out here. Oh, there's some on the bottom. 
A lot of bait over here. Good lord. It's all about seven to ten feet too. Let's go! Mark his spot. Dude, my first fish on my on my first fish on my new rod, the 7.6 heavy Pro Series. Damn. It's a donkey. <laughs> donkey boys. Wow. This is fat, dude. A lot of scars on it. I guess it's sitting on the bottom, actually. Look at that. Look at that, guys. This is heavy. My drag was a little loose. I wasn't sure I hadn't got a fish. That was a new reel, too. For a reel, I haven't used much. But, yeah, I didn't have any problem with that fish, which was nice four he's short that's why short now well, let's put him in the scale see what we can get best five now he's four one man this scale now i'm rocking we'll weigh him later he's four something we know that much let's put him in the back by himself Get some water. There we go. Oh, that was June bug. Okay. Shh, don't tell nobody. I moved up. I moved up shallower and heavier sinker. And different color, so a couple variables. And my line's pretty frayed, so let's retie. There's some fish over here. Ooh, yeah, there's a lot of fish over here. Fish it slow, even though I want to fish it fast. Okay, he's hooked. Stay down. Stay down, stay down, stay down, stay down. Okay, 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 okay. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, dude. Made a good decision to move up. Another big one. He's a little smaller than that one. Play nicely in there, right? I got fish to catch. Dude, they're over here. And that color change. Oh my god.
I could retie again. Golly almighty. I'm not risking it. Because I'm gonna get a big one. Big R1, hopefully. Another good one. Boom, boys! We found him. Oh, God. No way he swallowed it that quick. Dude, I said it as soon as you bit it. Dang. A little chunker. Man, I set that hook as soon as he bit that, bit that worm. And he still swallowed it. That tells me they're down there and they're competing. They're getting smaller though. That was another. Boom, boom. My drag is loosening up like this. Oh my god, he's good though. Dude, they are chomping. Chomping out here. Let's go. Let's go. Bottom of the mouth. Nice one. Nice and cool. Two ten. One. Let him go. Two ten. Skinny. Long skinny. That's a male. Probably is. Alright. Alright, what? I don't know. Alright, we're going to get another one. <laughs> I thought you were a monster. Oh my gosh, dude, you wore me out. Are you serious? Go away, dude. You blew up. Got him in the tongue. Little one. Man. 
That one felt big too. Bigger than I thought. Gotta get some weight on him. Golly, he's heavy. Dude, you are heavy. Solid. Stay on, 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 get in here, boom, get in the boot, son, that phantom favorite, or that favorite pro series rod is doing work today, there's my hook, <laughs> dude, donkey alert, son, Fish come flying out of the water when you catch a big one. Is that it? 411. 48. Damn, it seems like it should be heavier now. 413. I mean, how many different weights is he gonna give me? 412. Put him in the front. Fish is fat, dude. He's really fat. Get up near the grass. Long and skinny. So we gotta get rid of one nine. And th that one that swallowed it was probably bigger. Long male though. Look how long that fish is. See that? He's long. Long. Man, 
mad. Barely fell him. That should call. Maybe. Another male. I wonder if these are male and females moving up. Maybe. Was that one nine I needed to beat? One twelve eleven. Nice fish. Long, white. Those jokers are feisty. Come my boy Eddie. Coming up to the grass line. That's where they at. That's where they at. First one on the Tokyo rig. old mon or yeah 10 inch old monster on a Tokyo rig you don't see that Tokyo rig with quarter ounce mojo weight two eight takes care of a 111 you don't see this now. There's a fish, long, long, skinny male. 2 8. And he came on this old monster, 10 inch worm, mojo weight. Got a mojo weight on a Tokyo rig. Sweet. Hard. But he is small. Little guy. French fry bass. French fry. He's going in. Oh, there he is. That's why he was thrashing. Good lord. What kind of catfish is that? That's a pretty one. Huh. You want that little thing, don't you? Goodness gracious almighty. Look at that catfish. That's an odd looking catfish. Y'all know what that is? He's, he's brown and white. Interesting, pretty. There he is. Little. 
Little come up shallow, you get little ones. That's what I'm saying. I mean, I'm not even shallow, but come up on the grass edge, big ones are out. All right, there, guys, there's my best three. 413, 212, or 312, 212, and a 41. All right, guys, we're out. Awesome day today. So top three were 212, 413, and 41, if I remember correctly. I was going to, my thing got messed up. I was going to get the best five. But um, awesome day, Cinco's 13 feet to probably 10 um, outside to to relatively farther outside, focusing on what I'm uh, looking at bait, looking at fish, offshore, outside of grass lines. They weren't tight to the grass lines. So I was throwing out, but you needed to be around some grass. There was isolated patches outside of the edges, um, but I caught some in the edges too. One that, um, I think it was the 2.5 that hit that uh, mag, um, that uh, magnum, 10 inch old monster June bug with the Tokyo rig. That was awesome. Uh, that was 15 pound test, but use my favorite rod, which I really like. Um, I was throwing a 5 16 17 pound fluorocarbon on that 7 6 heavy favorite, um, favorite pro series rod with an 8 to 1 gear ratio reel um, quantum KVD. And um, what else? Four out hook. Everything came on that. Yeah, I threw a rattle trap some, but. I didn't get any bites on that, and it was a lot windier than I thought it was going to be today. These fish are offshore. I think I think they're. We'll see. I didn't catch anything shallow, so I'm thinking these fish are post spawn, um, and they're out there feeding. But um, they were, like I said, they were not on that grass edges. They were outside, but I caught some pretty close to it, if not in it. But um, they would have been right on the edge when it kind of popped through a grass but it was mostly on those outside little pockets of grass so good day till next time keep them rod tips bent your boy b-man is out